Okay. All right, this PowerPoint is brought to you by the Lord Jesus Christ, Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall. We're going to be talking about Lucifer and the Vatican and explaining the revelation, the mystery of the revelation 17, 10 and 11. Okay, now the war against Germany was alien driven. When we say alien, we mean uh, not belonging to the human race, demonic. We do not mean extraterrestrials from other planets. So the war against Germany was alien driven that produced offspring via the daughters of men. Now the photo I'm looking at was taken while we were overlooking Rome where the fallen angels have gathered in force for the spiritual Armageddon. I say this as it mirrors the gathering of the world's evil nations, which the church dominates, referring to Syria set upon by Saudi Arabia, Israel, the USA, and let's not forget Britain, all Jews of the seed of the aliens, that is the demons, that bred with the daughters of men. These are the... the um, fallen angels from prior to the flood, their offspring. Off the coast of Syria we have the Iranian army, the Russian navy, and, sorry, the Iranian navy and the Russian navy with Russian troops on the ground, and Chinese warships, which represents the revelation prophecy of 200 million from the east, all sitting off the coast of Syria. Now moving right along to Pope John Paul II, Carol Wat Ayla. However, that is pronounced in Polish. His mother was a Jew, therefore he also was a Jew. The conclave that elected him began on October the 14th, 1978. That day, the sunrise to sunset in Rome was 666 minutes. Time had been altered on October the 4th in 1582 after Pope Gregory the 13th was told by his astronomer the sundial in the Temple of the Winds was out by 10 days. The Pope ordered time forwarded, making October 5th the 15th. Again, the sunrise to sunset for Rome on the 4th of October in that year was 666 minutes, rising at 6.23 and setting so at 17.29. last day of time, right? So that means the last day of time, it then it became Gregorian time. So it's a different time system. So the last day was 666 minutes for Rome. Then Gregorian started. Okay. Now, the Jesus, the name Jesus is found in 942 verses of Lucifer's King James 1611 Bible. The Pope, this is John Paul II, was shot on May the 13th in 1981, which was 942 days after the conclave of the 14th of October. 1978. This then is 666 and the infiltration of the Jews and by that time Pope John Paul I had been murdered on September 28, 1978 and the Vatican had been taken over by the Jews. Freemasonry under them and homosexuality. As a note, Tel Aviv is the homosexual capital of the world and a lot else besides. So he was shot in Rome, the sunrise to sunset was 869 minutes, this in Greek, unawares, unexpectedly, suddenly in Hebrew, a gift as the price of harlotry or idolatry, his reward in other words. We see then the prophecy in Revelation, the apocalypse in the Catholic Bible, verse, chapter 17 verses 10 and 11 is fulfilled, quoting, and there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is and the other is not yet come, and when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. Now the Christ comes to the earth with a key and opens the bottomless pit in the Revelation 17 verse 8. The devil is led out of prison. Clearly, this is before 10 and 11. Now the credentials of the Pope at his option. Revelation 13, 6, and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. 
and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. The Pit, Revelation 9, 1. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. Now the star is the Christ, reborn on January 11, 1944. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he, Christ, would later <laughs> opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the furnace, out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Now, that's the Catholic Church. The souls of the demons are the locusts. They've been released from the pit, and they've gathered back on the earth for the judgment of the Christ who is here. So naturally, they have to fill up the very place, the very church that Christ comes back for, and that's the Roman Catholic Church. The Christ was reborn into his church, the Roman Catholic Church. So naturally... So at, at birth, the bottomless pit is open. Right? And all these monsters come out. Mm. And they join the Catholic Church or Freemasonry or become Jews or once again. Okay, then we've got the wound and the second beast. Revelation 13 verses 11 and 12, quoting, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. This is Pope John Paul II, replaced by Lucifer. Verse 12, And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. So this is Lucifer back in the body of John Paul II, who died. We'll explain further. Now we go to the victory of Christ over the Vatican and its Freemason popes and their Jewish masters. Revelation 21, and I saw an angel come out of the, come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Now, the chain is the Christ accepted by Pope Benedict XVI, which was one year ago today, on March the 12th in 2013. Today is March the 12th, 3 12 2014, so it was one year ago. It was the acceptance of the Christ by Pope Benedict that is the chain that binds. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. <coughs> we cancel it. Yes. I'm just reading it so you know what was, because it has been cancelled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. Not happening. Christ is on the earth. There's no reason he's the author of the script. He can change at any time. So connecting the dots. The name Jesus is found in 942 verses of Lucifer's King James 1611 Bible. There's 942 verses in 1 Chronicles. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> So the Pope, Paul, John Paul, was shot on May the 13th, 1981. Oh, yeah, yeah. You go to 1st uh, Chronicles uh, 5.13. 5, and what's so special about it, Pope? 2127 and... Uh, what's our new phone number? 2127. <laughs> it's all about the numbers. So, okay, he was shot 942 days after the conclave that he was elected in 1978, 14th of October. This then is 666. And the infiltration of the Jews. By that time, Pope John Paul I had been murdered on September 28, 1978. This is a bit of a revision. And the Vatican had been taken over by the Jews, Freemasonry under them, and homosexuality rampant. And child molesting. Okay, so going through Revelation 13 again, 11 and 12, reading them again, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, 
he spake as a dragon. Again, that's John Paul II, sent to hell. So he died, he was shot, he was, he, he was wounded unto death. He, he's in hell, his soul is in hell, and he's replaced as a walk-in by Lucifer. And he, Lucifer, in the body of John Paul II, exercises all the power of the first beast before him, John Paul II, and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. So John Paul II was shot dead. Then his body was taken over by the walk-in. So now we go to the victory of Christ over the battle. Yeah, but see, he's saying to worship the first beast, mm. John Paul II, mm. because now it's Lucifer in John Paul II, and he's opened the doors up to everyone. Oh, yes, yeah. What an abomination. Completely can. And Vatican too. Yeah. All right, well, that's all explained as we move along, back, so I wasn't going to bring in, but anyway, feel free to chip in. <laughs> On the day Pope John Paul II was shot, he was 60.98 years old. Hebrews 6098, advice by implication plan, also purpose. 609 in Greek, to amputate, to mutilate, cut off. So that's what happened to John Paul II. His soul was cut off, wounded to death. This is his body, wounded to death but did live. So his soul, soul descended into hell. Then Lucifer came out and entered his body. The beast, then Lucifer, lived. Now moving right along to the Fatima prophecy and what the third message was really all about. It was about an apostasy and revolution in high places. So uh, think about John Paul II, but moving right along to what we've got today, the abomination in Francis. Now, there were two letters. One was the real message, followed by a substitute, a counterfeit message regarding Russia. The real letter is all about the Church Fathers becoming agents for the devil. Sister, Sister Lucia was murdered and replaced by an imposter. Pope John Paul II met with her and he was totally aware that she was an imposter. It was Ron Carley, who was uh, Gregory XXIII, that imposed the isolation around Sister Lucia because she said she was going to come out in 1960 to release the third message to the world, which was the message that she was given by Mary, the mother. Now, Joseph Ratzinger, as cardinal, later becoming Pope Benedict XVI, he was being set up all along. He's a lamb. And he said, read the letter, his, his uh, Pope Benedict, as Joseph Ratzinger, the cardinal, he said, the dangers threatening the faith and the life of the Christian and therefore the life of the world and the importance of the last things at the end of the world. Part four, the true message given in the real third secret. It is foretold among other things, and this is uh, uh, quoted by another bishop, the Admiral of Fatima. He was Quoting the forgery, its contents concerns only our faith. So the world was being given the runaround. However, somebody else, on the contrary, Father Doma Depod, had seen the original. And what he said, an almost unbelievable apostasy in the church. And if the word got out, then another cardinal, Odi, said the third secret is not about a supposed conversion of Russia. The Blessed Virgin was alerting us against apostasy in the church right from the very top. Now it was Pope Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli, known as uh, Pope John the Twenty Third. The Vatican said the content it was he who said the content content would be embarrassing to the church and it would not be released. Now he was the anti-pope who walked out of the conclave in 1958, died of uh, stomach cancer in 1963, and he was a Freemason, so that shows you right there what kind of an abomination he was masquerading as a... He was known as the Good Shepherd. Uh, the real sister Lucia and uh, imposter sister Lucia, or Lu Lucia, uh, completely different people, totally. Now, the third letter was supposed to be released in 1960. By then, the real sister Lucia had been murdered and replaced with an imposter. And she is the one that Pope John Paul II met with and 
Sister Lucy's own confessor, Father Parisa, when he returned from Brazil, was unable to see her as she had been replaced by the imposter. So up goes the uh, conspiracy surrounding her. He says, I have not been able to speak with Sister Lucy because the Archbishop could not give the permission to meet her. Uh, the conditions of isolation in which she finds herself have been imposed by the Holy See. Consequently, no one may speak with her without a license from Rome. On the one hand, the real sister Lucia said it must be, the letter must be released to the whole world in 1960, but the imposter, sister Lucia said, Our Lady never said that. Our Lady said it was for the Pope. So this was a conspiracy of um, magnanimous proportions. Now, the assassination attempt on John Paul II, well, it succeeded, May the 13th, 1981, was when Lucifer took over the body of the Pope. He was wounded to death. See, the scriptures say he was wounded to death. He died, but did live, not wounded, but to death. Then the body of flesh resurrected with Lucifer inside of it. Here's Cardinal Ratzinger again. Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, the message of Fatima, introduction that uh, Cardinal Ratzinger was uh, told to release. The supposed vision said that a pope would be killed. And as Pope John Paul II had been shot and did, did live, the Vatican believed it was him. Then on June the 26, 2000, Cardinal Ratzinger was told to announce the sentiments of the Vatican. So on this date, it was 6,984 6, days after the assassination. The 698 in Greek is Mars Hill. And I am. That's how many I am is there. Right. And you're also the Mars Hill, aren't you? Yeah. Marshall. And 6984 in Hebrew, Entrapped of Yah in years, get a lot of this, it is 19.12 years, and that's Revelation 19.12, which reads, his eyes were as a flame of fire, meaning he's really angry, and on his head were many crowns, he's the most royal man on the earth, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, and that name is Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall. Only he himself knows the name, so he has to reveal it to a devoured world, and that's what he's been doing ever since internet, computers, software programs, being able to communicate. All eyes will see him through cyberspace like lightning flashing from east to west. It's cyberspace. Basically you give the devil all the weapons. Yeah. And then you select the ones you want to use. Mm -hmm. them. Okay, so what Pope Benedict XVI said, read the third secret, the danger threatening the faith and the life of the Christian and therefore the life of the world and the importance of the last things at the end of the world. Now, why did he say end of the world? Muhammad talked of the end of the world. That's right, and said that the baby that was born to the Virgin Mary, Mary, a Virgin Mary, Mary was the soul of was the soul Allah. of Allah. So Muhammad has been totally. Um, taken out of context, he wrote letters to the effect to the kings surrounding him saying that Issa was the soul of Allah within the Virgin Maryam. So, now Pope Benedict as the Pope, he was in the position of power See, and he knew the secret miracles, of the third letter and was all about, he knew the secret of the third letter was all about the apostasy and is why he quit on February the 11th. 2013, 84 years to the date. Now the Muslims had taken uh, Constantinople. Yes. And there were the uh, scrolls of Caiaphas, which you read. Yes. And Muhammad had them moved and protected. He read the resurrection account of Caiaphas. He knew what it was all about. And he moved them for protection. And they're about, they've been uh, translated the scrolls and written into a book in the 19th century that uh, has been released to the world. It's up at our script site, the accounts. So Pope John Paul II, he was shot May the 13th, 513, 1981, and died. His body was taken over by the devil and it 
occupied the corpse for another 26.888 years. Like Jesus and God showed up and killed him, right? Yes. 26 is God and 888 is the Greek gematria for Jesus. And it means to place down permanently. Mm. So that's it. it. Lucifer is back in hell, and all you people out there that are cursed with being Luciferites are dead now. Lucifer will help you. <laughs> so Lucifer, Lucifer has already been chained up, cast back into the bottomless pit. Revelation 20, 0, 3, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more and he's not going to be released ever. He's gone. Done deal. Cancelled the release after a thousand years. So what happened? John, Pope John Paul II approved Vatican II, which was the brainchild of uh, Pope Gregory, sorry, Pope John the Twenty Third, Ron Cowley, now it, that's Vatican II, required 2,500 men in three years to rewrite Vatican I, which had been good and served the church for 1,400 years. The replacement allows all faiths as the means to enter paradise, eliminating Jesus as the narrow way. Now, Yah, the Christ, replaced it with Vatican III after he was asked by Pope Benedict XVI what he thought of Vatican II. Basically, it destroyed the church and the Gospels. Here's some um, photos of John Paul II with all those that he'd allow to enter in to where? Uh, I was saying before in the upload that didn't go up. This is Lucifer. He's not a lover of your soul. So he's going to tell you anything to make you feel good about yourself on the earth. But then once you die, you realize that he's cheated and stolen your soul. So Christ comes along to what? It's all about salvation, to reveal. The revelation has been going on ever since it's been on the earth, but to, to reveal all things to you as the comforter, the father this time, not the young buck, the comforter who abides with us always, forever, on the earth where the kingdom comes. So a year after the assassination in 1982, Lucifer made a trip to see the imposter sister Lucia and they agreed that it would be better if nothing is said regarding the third letter. In 1992, she confirmed it was not intended to be released to the public. Her statement was contrary to the real sister Lucia, who insisted it must be released in 1960. Here, Lucifer in the flesh and the imposter Lucia, so we've got Luc Lucifer and Lucia, Mr. and Mrs., spell it out for us in their denial of the real message, which is the apostasy in the highest places within the church. So the answer to the riddle of Revelation 17.11 is there will be seven priest kings reigning over a priesthood kingdom. That's what a sacerdotal monarchy is, and that's what it has been since February 11th, 1929, until Benedict was armed because uh, Francis is not a king. He's not even a priest. He is not, um, he's, he's, he's a layman. And the eighth is also one of the seven, the death of John Paul II. Then his body became a walk-in by Lucifer. He, therefore, was the sixth pope, died, replaced by the devil, becoming the seventh. And then when he died, it was replaced by Benedict the sixteenth, and he became the eighth. Revelation 17.11 And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. Reading the prophecy, who is the eighth, even he, mystery, is of the seven. So we have Benedict, the seventh, but is still alive. Leaves six popes and of these one is a duplicate and can only be the one that was dead but did live. John Paul II. Again, 942 is Jesus, the verse total, and the Christ was 942 days old when his family moved from 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, on August the 10th, 1946. 
Now the same verse is in Greek, counting only the numbered words. In Greek geometria, total 17,917, 17,917. You you'll see on the PowerPoint the number for each word. So 17,917 counted as days divided by the days in a solar year, which is 365.2424 equals 49.05 years. That number 4905 from 4862 and 2064 to convene, depart in company with, associate with, or specifically cohabit. So it's telling you exactly what happened. Lucifer cohabiting in the body of John Paul II, whose soul went straight to hell. Now in the original Greek translation, it becomes clear the deception of the translators. Listen to this, there is subtle differences that mean the world. Revelation 17, 10, and Kings 7, there are. The five are fallen, so John the Revelator is given this, the five are fallen, the one is, so he's seen John Paul II, and the other not yet has come, this is Benedict, and when he shall have come, a little while it behooves, a little while him, it behooves to remain. And the beast which was and not is, also himself an eighth is, and of the seven is, and goeth into destruction. Now, going back, subtle differences. And the beast which was and not is, also himself an eighth is. Now, Yah pointed out, doesn't mean he is the eighth. No, it says an eighth. Got a loaf of bread, cut it into eight slices, and you take out any one of those at any position. Any one of them is an eighth. Not saying he is the eighth, meaning the last piece. He is an eighth. And of the seven is. So it's Pope John Paul the seventh. Six and seven. So and into seven destruction slices. goes. Right? And the sixth one is cut down the middle. There we go, to make eight slices. It's eight slices. It doesn't yeah. mean that to be the same size. No, that's right. One was only 33 days, right? Yes. Now, behooves. So going back to the previous verse, and we're talking about Benedict here, and when he shall have come a little while him, it behooves to remain. Well, behoove means to be necessary or decide to remain in respect of duty or convenience. That's what Benedict did. It behooved him to remain as long as he did, and then he announced his retirement. And Yah has here, finally, Benedict retired. Fulfillment of prophecy. So he is the greatest pope of all time. As innocent as he is, and for everything that he has been labelled, by Catholics who do not understand and will not bow down to the Christ, they've been sent the information, but they still, they have a certain amount of knowledge but are convinced this is what it all means when they, they haven't got it right. They are stuck in their, their mindset thinking they know all things. So Benedict XVI, unable to reverse the abominations he inherited, behoves to retire precisely. 84 years after the Vatican was formed on February 11, 1929. Now the royal families of Europe played a key role in making certain nations follow the teachings of Christ. That emphasis is a key role in making certain the nations that they were ruling follow the teachings of Christ. These will all be reinstated under Rome under Benedict, who is under the Christ. He is the rod of iron, Benedict the lamb, ruling with the lion. This way, nations, governments, can be dissolved if corruption and antichrist religions revive. So. Well, it happened in Australia. The Queen, via John Kerr, 
sacked Gough Williams, Governor. Yes, the Governor General. Mm. So nothing happens without the authority of the Queen. Of the Queen. So well, nothing will happen within the... She's acquiescent to me at the moment. <laughs> so I don't think that's going to change, but it happened. All right, there's your... Uh, is that photograph? Looking like the man in the moon. <laughs> we were looking at the moon last night through the telescope and, and awesome. 200 times magnification cameras. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Uh, no bases there, no, no perspex pyramids or little <laughs> aliens wandering around at their base stations. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, ciao. Nicole Joe. Is that thing running? Yes, it is. The camera's on. <laughs> we hope. Better be. All There's right. no light on it. Doesn't look like it's on. <laughs>